Hello. 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 Check, 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 check. One, two, three, check. Hello. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hello. Hello. And welcome back. Happy Wednesday. Welcome back. As we continue more Hogwarts Legacy with our new character, our evil Hufflepuff character, as we're doing an alternate playthrough, picking all the the jerky options. Again, I don't know how evil we can consider the character. At the moment, she just seems like a dick. <laughs> She's just a bully. That's what it's coming down to. We 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 talked about that yesterday. Um, about the fact that, at least on the first playthrough, because we were playing a good character, we realized there wasn't, there's not really any bullies in the school. There's no Malfoy or a group of bullies or anything like that. And then it occurred to us that we're, in this playthrough, we're the Malfoy. We're the, we're the bully of the school. Apparently back in the 1800s, just, there was just nothing but nice kids. In Hogwarts. The bad kids didn't come until later on. <laughs> the Malfoys and... and I don't know. Maybe it's just Malfoy and his family that turned out to be a bunch of jerks. And his jerk... His jerkiness or their jerkiness spread to other students. I don't know. Because we don't really meet anybody that seems like a bully. I'm trying to think if anybody comes close to it. Um... No, I can't. I don't think. Even the people that I was like, I thought were a little bit off still don't make sense as like that Malfoy character. I was thinking like the little girl who plays with the gobstones. Like, she's a little careless. Um, and she doesn't understand why people don't like the fact that she keeps... But I mean, to be fair, yeah, she's playing a game that they're agreeing to play with her. And, I get, and the game ends with the loser being doused in stinkiness. It's not like she invented the game. She's just good at it, apparently. And everybody hates her for the fact that she wins, and she's the one who never gets stinky. That's not really her fault, right? Yeah, I don't know. Everybody, All the students and all the student interactions in this game are fairly positive. <laughs> Until we decided to be a jerk in this playthrough. Terrible. We're ruining. We're, we're spoiling Hogwarts in that sense. Alright, well. We're going to jump right into it because we actually technically stopped in the middle of the quest line. I think the, the quest line is Welcome to Hogsmeade. We got our, our, uh, our wand in the last playthrough. And of course, if you just want to see all the alternate jerky dialogue, um, I have... I do create chapters, uh, timestamps in each of these streams, um, including these new ones. All you have to do is basically find the the different, just find each of the individual like uh, quest lines, and you can just jump to them if you're curious what the jerk responses are. They're pretty funny. It's kind of crazy. Like it's it's complete. It's a stark difference from like the good. Which I would say is the canon character's normal dialogue of just being a nice person and helping everybody out. Just the idea that we, like, agree to help people and then we come back and we're just like, we tricked you. Sucker. You shouldn't trust everybody. <laughs> That's pretty much it. And you come back. I guess maybe you're doing a service. To <laughs> you're letting them know. You're not just like taking what they give you and and run and leaving. You can actually come back and tell them that you're you are purposefully being a jerk to them. But it creates for some very funny dialogue. All right, well we'll continue right here because yeah, we need to go and meet Sebastian. Like I said, we're in the middle. Of, we finished the, the last stream in the middle of this quest after getting our wand. And we know what comes up next. We might stop in Zonko's on the way, or a couple of the other shops before we meet up with Sebastian. Keep looking around a little bit in Hogsmeade. But again, welcome back. Happy Wednesday. Don't forget to hit that like button if you have not yet already. Very much appreciated. 
subscribe, comment, hit the bell. All the good things. Let's go. Let's get started. Uh, we did install the hair mod. Um, I don't know if I need to go back and look at it. So I was under the impression that it added multiple hair styles that would work with the hats. But what appears to have happened, and the only thing that makes sense to me is that because the bun in this hairstyle is in the position that it is, that the, the mod creator just opted to turn it into a ponytail when wearing a hat. So you still have the bangs, which of course is interesting because these bangs I don't think exist on this ponytail style hairstyle. And it looks fine with it, to be honest. But yeah, if we're, if we're wanting to wear a hat, uh, we apparently opt to put our hair down from the bun. Doesn't work, work with every hat, but it works with a lot of hats. But that's still nice, so if we had like an option, if this if this hat matched this coat better, you know, I might opt to wear a, a witch's hat like this. Doesn't look bad. Honestly, I mean, this dark arts hat looks pretty good. We're gonna go uh, sans hat for now, though. But it's nice to know that that is an option now, so that's good. So yeah, let's... Other than, like, maybe grabbing a page here and there. I don't know if there's any other reason. I am also going back to using a controller. I tried using the keyboard yesterday, and I don't know. Maybe it's just the fact that I'm being lazy, and I got so used to using the controller. For whatever reason, I kept struggling between, like, the dodge and the shield buttons on my keyboard, which doesn't make sense. Now, when we get to the point where we have so many spells, including the Dark Arts, that we don't have enough slots, maybe I might opt to go back to the keyboard. Because there is, there is a mod that I need to try out that adds an MMO-style hotbar along the bottom of the screen... And it gives you more slots. So basically, I think it still has the uh, the different spell slots, which I can't switch to because I don't have them yet. But instead of there only being four slots, I think it adds like 12. So there's like 12 total spell slots per switch, which is pretty cool. You would think, honestly, for the, the PC version of this game, they probably should have just had something like that as default. Um, and on top of that, you can add more than just spells to the hotkeys. You can add, like, you can add the plants and the potions and stuff. So all that's pretty cool. So I might try that. I'm undecided just yet, though. Where's this page at? Down below me? Yep, there it is. Wait, did I hear another one? Or was that the one? I am hearing another one. Horrifying. Absolutely horrifying. <laughs> so, yeah, that's confusing, because I'm hearing the ding... So I'm curious about that, because we discovered in the last playthrough that you typically did not hear the ringing unless you were inside the building with it. But I'm wondering if you go inside any building. No? Or maybe it's just... Oh, it's just pointing out the ones outside. That's too bad. Because man, oh man, it took forever to find the last Hogsmeade page on uh, our first playthrough to get um, the collections achievement. And it was, yeah, it, the page was by itself inside of a building that I missed. The ring never, the ring didn't pop up until I was close to it, like on its doorstep. And it was just, yeah, it was crazy. It was, it was like a needle in a haystack situation. No, oh, I can't shop yet. Not before. <laughs> I can't shop for clothes yet. We gotta meet Sebastian before we do any shopping. Alright, so let's get to it. 
continuing off here. Sebastian just chilling in the middle of the town. Alright, Sebastian, you have no idea what's about to hit you. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. I don't like the way you said that. Now, I wanted to, me to dodge by pressing up on the keyboard. Does that make sense? Or is it page up? Maybe. Oh, no, it's my shift key. It's my shift key. Nah, screw it. I'm going to still try to stick. I was pondering going back to the keyboard, but I changed my mind. Yeah, I, I commented on this last time. She said we're not weakening it at all, but clearly we are. He's definitely losing health. What was that? A taste of his own medicine. Can I collect the page while we're in the middle of battle? I guess not. Oh, look at that cat trying to get away! That poor cat! It's gonna be bad. Seems quiet to me. Is it my headset? I'm not sure. I don't like the creepy whispering. Can I replay that sequence? Role. Did you two take on a try it with the keyboard by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? I... Yeah, let me replay it again. Something felt off. It's gotta be this, right? This poor cat, man. He was just stuck in the thick of it all. I officially have all of my supplies. Uh, did... I'm overthinking it. Are we weakening him 
at all. Keep at it. We'll wear them down eventually. I didn't even have to block that. What was that? A taste of his own medicine. I mean, it's interesting that this is like ancient magic, the ancient magic throw, when it just looks like we're, we're, it just looks like we're using Accio and then using Depulso. I feel like you could do the exact same thing, and it would look the same. Am I crazy? I, I don't understand why anybody would think it would look it was that amazing. I had the same thought about like the lightning that we cut, that we pulled down from the sky too, which is supposed to also be ancient magic. But then we watch executioners, dark wizards, conjure like a massive lightning storm. He's faltering. A few more hits do the job. Yeah. Like, I don't know why anybody would be impressed <laughs> with this bit of ancient magic just throwing an object. Number three? So why do I have this set to number three? I need to switch it to number two, maybe? I think that might be better. Number three seems like a bit of a reach. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Mm, stinky. Nerve like that. <laughs> the makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are <laughs> unharmed, Perhaps the two of you wouldn't uh, mind helping me put Zoe a few just things farted back to right where next they to us. Were. Of course, officer. Singer. Yeah, officer Singer. <laughs> and thank you again. <coughs> so stinky. Zoe's getting old. She's an old grandma kitty. She can't control her farts. Oh, hello there. A, a moment if you would. <laughs> I'll go and see what he wants. <laughs> <laughs> Did you give her some medicine? I did. Okay. So rude, them closing the door on my face. <laughs> it's true. Can you imagine if cats and dogs had butt cheeks? <laughs> Not only would it be insane looking, them walking around with their butt cheeks, but then, yeah, we would hear them whenever they farted. Maybe it would be for the best. Then you would know whether or not they yeah. farted. Right. We'd get a heads up. That's true. I mean, depending on how they sit, they do. Yeah. At least for dogs. I don't think I've ever actually audibly heard either Milo or Zoe Bevelio. fart. <laughs> yeah, a foul smell. <laughs> Alright, what do you got for me? He's gonna sell me a freaking uniform that I've already got. At least that's what happened last time. He's He sold me a uniform cloak. And he was like, I made this especially for you as a thank you for what you did for us. And it's like, it was a, literally the exact same cloak. As a, oh shoot, we gotta repair. I'm getting ahead of myself. That is going to happen. So I'm curious if that was just random. And he just randomly selected the exact same school cloak that I already had. That I started out with. Or if that's just normal, like, I don't get it. Repair it. Oh, One 
first thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Repairo. Grab that page now. Repairo. Now he's going to reward us. Revenia. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see about that depending on what he gave what he gives us. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks They weren't even did. good, from what I remember, too. Not only being the exact same robe I already had. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very Oh, shoot. Did I pick the wrong thing? It's the least I can do. Uh, Wait. Now, now let's try this what happens side, if I reject we? it? Will he be insulted? Today. Take your time. It is the same freaking robe. Yeah, and it sucks. Look, it wants me to look at it. It's it's worse than the coat I'm already wearing. How does this happen? I suspect I want to reload. For fashion. I'd say we've earned a buck. Because we didn't pick it last time, but I'm assuming it's still kind of a polite response, is my guess. Am I going to have gone too far back? Am I going to have to repair everything again? <laughs> oh no! Did it autosave after I repaired everything? I don't know. 59 was what I loaded, right? Yeah, so... Doggone it. I'm gonna, I am gonna have to repair everything again. Because this is gonna be after I got the cloak. <laughs> and look at me wearing it like a dork. Yeah, who decided to do that? So you, you finally get to cut, stumble upon the clothing shop. And he rewards you for protecting the town. And he just gives you not only a crappy robe, but it is literally the exact same robe that you start out with at the beginning of the game. Oh, hello there. A, a moment if you want. I'll go and see what he wants. One last thing for Officer Singer to write. I mean, at the very least, make it a different style. Because there's so many styles of, uh... There's so many different styles of the school robes. But for some weird reason, they decided to have him just give us the exact same one we already got. Boring! Lucky they didn't do more. Maybe it was supposed to be, like, teaching you that... Even though you've already got the same ones before, they have different specs. I don't know. It just seemed a little boring. Why is this not repaired yet? Yeah, it was this one. 
we we didn't get the uh, the page inside here, and it's not until you're like actually in the store does it, that it actually rings. That's why I'm gonna get it right now. After apparently I pet this black cat. That's appropriate. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. I already grabbed these, and it saved. Apparently. Hello, sir. I'd... Allow me to introduce myself. I should like to think. I was happy to help. So yeah, I'm assuming... And as I... It's just going to be a polite thing. No, sir, that's far too... Yeah, we even say, no, sir, that's far too generous of you. That's very kind of you, Mr. Hill. But I can't accept robes that I didn't pay for. In fact, it even <laughs> seems more polite. I insist. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? Can't we just say, like, why not give Plenty us an option to say today. something like... Take your time. Uh, I don't... <laughs> I don't want to take clothes from you. Your clothes are smelly. What would be a good insult for a tailor? I'm not particularly impressed with the stitchings of your clothes. So, thanks, but no thanks. Look, it's still the same. A level five. I'd say that I don't want it. If it, was made for you. it looks the same, and it's worse. <sighs> I guess we'll take it. Because it's free. <laughs> it's literally just a tutorial on shopping, but they could have given us something better. Anything. And we do not have enough cash to randomly buy stuff at this point. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. The mask was made for me? Oh, look at this robe. I never got anything like this for, uh... Slytherin. Is this unique to Hufflepuff? Maybe. Maybe. That might be... Yeah. I didn't have one that's like this, like with that. where it's half and half. Oh well, yeah, there was. I had a ton of robes that were in the same model, but not, yeah, not with a design like this. I'm not paying that much money right now, though. We got so much other crap we gotta buy. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I know that's amazing, right? Oh my gosh, I want to buy this. Look at how pretty the sash is on top. It's got like a bluish purple tin to it. Ooh, should we buy this just to make sure we get it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Three hundred seventy-five. I just said we weren't gonna do it, but you won't we're be doing it now. That's a glad rags promise. That's a glad rags promise. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. The Highland attire for the girls is pretty cool looking. You don't have the kilt. You could have a kilt. A, a girl can wear kilts. There's nothing that says you can't wear a kilt as a girl. I mean, it's just like a bloody skirt. But I gotta say, this this version actually looks pretty cool. I like the pants. All right, moving on. Moving on. I need all this stuff. Right? Here, take your dumb robe I back. Said it before, it's a pleasure to I can't even wear this. <laughs> I can't wear the hat yet. It's level 11. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. I sell even more battle work. And our legendary item is already outdone very quickly. We can sell it for 200 though. Wow. 
What level are we? We're 10. Okay, we're almost to 11. We're very close. We'll probably be able to put it on soon enough. Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Lead the way, Sebastian. Assuming it isn't Sebastian Bedlam in there, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. Why don't we ever haul a wand out? We're ready for anything. Conspiracy afoot. You said you could get to the child when they came to hold oh, look, me. There's Roland. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. He's back there. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. I find it weird that Roland's wearing a Slytherin vest. Let's go. He's got a big Slytherin snake on the back. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Poor Lord Gok. Mm. He sensed something in us right away, didn't he? Now, what can I... Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Excuse me. Butterbeer's on me. What's wrong with my face? Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thank you for this. My pleasure. I will say... <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> Not timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the Theophilus. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Really? Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. Why are we promising that? And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Why are these people sitting inside the table? Lewis. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Strangely, though, their their plates are appropriately in front of where they ought to be, so the models load in correctly with the plates. And see, this would be a bug in any other game, but 
right now we can just say it's magic. This is how some wizards and witches enjoy company. By melding inside one another. <laughs> while they have conversations. It's totally normal in the wizarding world. <laughs> or maybe, maybe they're Siamese twins. I don't know. They're magic Siamese twins. What's up, MP? Welcome back, MP! Pavilion. Happy Wednesday. Thank you, MP. Always. Always a friendly reminder if you have not yet done so. Bobby, you put Berkey on my keyboard. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you, thank you. Very much appreciated. I look over and my keyboard's covered by beef jerky. Cleo was trying to sabotage my keyboard. Mm. Sebastian. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Hollow. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. You must return to your common room for the night. Access the map. Why? Don't make me. Don't make me leave. I'm trying. It won't let me use the shortcut with the D-pad for some reason. You don't know that, MB. You don't know that at all. Eat some more of this floating candy. I gotta get used to the fact that Hufflepuff's common room has that. She looks so, so disturbed after it starts making her float. Oh, what the heck? Hmm. That's more than biting. Trying to eat, take a chunk out of somebody? Yeah. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket. We found it, Gringotts. Okay. What time is it? I'm assuming it's night time because nobody's out. Okay, it's not. It's morning. We go woke up bright and early, which apparently is everybody sleeping in. What's going on? Why is nobody else out and about? Where did everybody go? Oh look, there's somebody. What day is it? It'd be interesting if it actually took that into account. Which I don't think it can. It's Friday. It's Friday morning. 
There definitely should still be classes. Maybe I'm just late to classes. That's where everybody is. Is the date still the same? Okay, it's it has actually moved forward. But now that the time is actually ticking, maybe the days are going to correctly progress. Because before, that was just basically one long day, I guess. I don't think it was changing. We were stuck on, what, September 4th? But the times didn't make sense, which which was interesting. But then again, I don't know how this inter this clock works. Gosh, she does not go down those stairs very well. Because it, it said like it was 3 p.m. when we were back in the school, and then we went to Hogsmeade, it changed to 2 p.m. That don't make no sense. Excuse me. Yay, we're level 11. Okay, what's really close? Is it this? Oh yeah, we weren't able to pick Rebellion. this up. Can we go in the kitchen? If one tickles the pear in this life, still life painting of a bowl of fruit, it will giggle before turning into a doorknob. Can we not tickle it yet? Will it not let us go in here? I can't tickle the pear. Hmm, weird. It doesn't want me going in the kitchen yet. That's a little strange. What's in the kitchen that would... That would even make sense for us to be trying to access it too early. Revenia. I have a door nearby. Where is it? What's up there? I did ponder applying because there is some mods that make it like you can have kind of a new game plus going on, so it'll it'll unlock your it'll unlock your gear slots and stuff like that. I pondered whether or not to do that. I don't think I have a favorite food. I do very much like Cleo's quesadillas. Don't forget, my favorite food changes constantly. It probably was my favorite food at the time. I don't think it is anymore. What would be my favorite food right now? Hibachi Maybe hibachi chicken. Mmm. Hibachi chicken would be good. I would say that my all-around favorite food that probably doesn't change, because I do get tired of foods every once in a while, have to recycle, come back, go back and forth, cheeseburgers. I'm going to go down a limb and say cheeseburgers, because even something like pizza, which I really enjoy from time to time, I get sick of that. I don't think I ever get tired of cheeseburgers. It just sucks that they are so bad for you. her favorite food and she might honestly be the exact same way as me I don't know what her favorite food is I don't think we've ever discussed this I don't have to think about it we we change what we eat so often I would probably say uh, are you like me do we does your favorite food change yeah probably but macaroni and you would say your favorite food's mac and cheese? <laughs> yeah. Why don't we have that more often? I like mac and cheese. My she just told me that mac and cheese I is her favorite. It's cheese. her comfort food, apparently. Which we do have mac and cheese every once in a while, and it's it's one of the few dinners I make. When, when, I, go <laughs> when I go out on the road, that's one of almost always what I look for first on the menu. Because they have different like, cheeses and stuff. 
and then they'll put like bacon in it. I don't think it ever occurred to me to ask her what her favorite food is because she's oh, she's usually like eighty percent of the time the one who makes us dinner. But that's really weird that you would have never told me that before. I mean, really any pasta. There you go. See, I would have said pasta otherwise, because I know she loves Italian food. But I never thought she had, like, one particular favorite Italian food. She loves, you know, spaghetti and, and Alfredo and all that different stuff. And we'll usually get a bunch of varieties of different stuff. Like, if, I was gonna, if you were going to ask me what her favorite restaurant would be, I would probably say it was something Italian. But, yeah... Favorite dessert, though? I think even she would have to think about that for a second. Um, I mean, ice cream, I still feel like, is a very obvious go-to. I know what her favorite cake is. Does that count? <laughs> she likes chocolate cake with, like, white vanilla frosting. She knows what fav my favorite cake is, too. She says she'd prefer baked goods over ice cream. I'm probably the other way around, even though I love baked goods as well. Hmm. I don't think anybody would be able to... Anybody who knew me would probably not be able to tell you what my favorite food is. I don't think anybody... No one in my family. I, if Cleo was guessing just now hibachi chicken for my food, for example, but it does. My favorite foods change constantly. Constantly. I, I, it, there's even, like, like certain candies that I tend to tell, like, family members that I enjoy getting as gifts. But that is constantly changing, too. But there are a few different, like special candies i try to tell people if you're going to get me a gift to keep it simple so i usually don't have like a general list of something that i may or may not want what do i tell people i tell people the three the, like the three main things that i want when it comes to gifts is just to keep it simple it's slippers candy and candles i'm a i'm my Definitely one of my biggest senses. My best, one of my best senses is my sense of smell. I love candles. Candles is a hard one though because there's plenty of candles that do not smell great, at least not to me. So most people don't, which is probably fine. I love a good old pair of slippers. I wear slippers all year long. There is not a day that goes by that I'm not wearing a pair of slippers. I wear slippers. 365 days out of the year so that's a good gift to get me because slippers i'll wear them down and then uh yeah candy but it's usually like particular types of chocolate and it changes from time to time like i really like m m chocolate bars those are usually one of my favorites and you can't find them everywhere i also really really like rocher the rocher uh, ferrero chocolate balls Hmm. Yeah. Actually, you know what? What's that ice cream shop? Uh, um, you mean the frozen yogurt place? No. Oh, you're talking about Ghirardelli. No. Ghirardelli has good choc chocolate. I'm talking about the ice cream shop that makes those truffles. No, it's not Ghirardelli's. Gir Ghirardelli's is an ice cream shop. Graders. Graders. Thank you. Grater's has, um, so Grater's makes these chocolate truffles that are too expensive. But they're some of the best damn chocolate truffles you can get, if you can find a Grater's that even sells them, which is very rare. If you can find a Grater's that sells their chocolate truffles, get them, they're great. They're a little pricey. They're definitely not the priciest. We've found, we found other chocolate truffles that are way more expensive, but Grater's has some of the best best chocolate truffles and most people don't even realize they have them graders is known for being an ice cream place um what was it doing oh yeah i 
Where, where's the other one? Oh yeah, it's down below. And I say that because, honestly, I don't even know if you can order them online. Can you look for me? Let's see if... Can we order Grater's Chocolate Truffles online somewhere? Because I'm not even 100% sure about that. But now that we're talking about them, I'm craving them. We need to find a bloody Grater's shop that we can go buy some damn chocolate truffles. Yeah, I don't know if they sell the truffles. That's the problem. It's true, and I wouldn't want to try to order them online right now anyways, even if they did, because they would be completely ruined by the time they got here. That's the thing, like, there's other chocolate um, I love. Um, one common um, method of making chocolate that is popular in Europe, not at all popular here in America, is aerated chocolate. I love, love, love aerated chocolate because, in general, I love chocolate that is soft. I do not like chocolate that is that is hard. Um, and aerated chocolate, by design, is a very, very soft chocolate. And um, every once in a while in America, some a, a company tries to put out aerated chocolate. And I don't know if just not enough Americans know what it is, and it just doesn't sell well. Maybe there's too many people that have that one phobia when it comes to holes. <laughs> what is that called? Trecheophobia or whatever it is. And maybe this, maybe that's the problem. <laughs> uh, but aerated chocolate is great. So every when it's not summertime and my chocolate's not going to melt when it comes to the mail, I will usually order some aerated chocolate. And it's usually from, you know, European brands. And if you are an American and you have not had aerated chocolate, I totally recommend it. I don't think it... It's not like it makes it taste any different. It's just extremely soft chocolate. <laughs> it... Oh yeah, this is the Ravenclaw door. We're gonna find out what it's like in there at some point. At some point. You got me going off ranting and raving, MP. This is all your fault. I am not good at multitasking. Cleo can't find any online. I, I'd be tempted to go to the store. I suppose we could just call the local graders that are around here and ask them if they have any, but my guess is they probably don't. That's the problem. They make they make damn good chocolate truffles. Like I said, they're easy, they might be my favorite chocolate truffles of all time, but people don't know that they make them, so they probably don't sell very well. So there's probably some greater stores that just simply opt out of ordering them in general. Like, for resupply. What I'm doing? I'm going the wrong way. We needed to go across through the door. It's raining! See, this is the problem. I still want to wander around and get chests and stuff so we can get our new outfits. Because, yeah, that's another detriment from No New Game Plus is that we don't have any of our outfits. Who's over here? we got a side quest on the next floor. Should we do that before talking to Fig? Depends on what it is. What side quest is this? Oh, it's Arthur. Boy, can you help me? What do you think? Is he the most cartoony voice in the game? Sure. Even more than Moon? He might be. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go with that. Hello. Why are you calling me? 
I was, yes. Thought perhaps a fellow Hufflepuff might have the perseverance to join me in a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Why would I want to decipher an old map? For the sheer knowledge of it, Hogwarts fascinates me. Plus, you can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. So if we want to be a dick to him, he doesn't want the treasure. The only way that you could be a dick in this situation, to be a jerk, is to come back and be like, we found out where it is. And we're just not gonna t tell you. Do you think that's gonna be the option? He doesn't want. He doesn't want anything. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. All right. Fair enough. In the door behind the painting. Someone to talk to. Who is it? The better question is where is it? It was probably Ronan. Ronan? First, find the first landmark from Arthur's treasure map. That would be the... This guy. Oh, a rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track. Oh my gosh. Apparel. I suppose if we're truly being a jerk, we should just break this stuff and then leave it broken. I'm assuming it's just going to keep getting repaired. Other people are going to repair it. It's true, but considering we have had options of essentially just crushing the spirits of students. I mean, that's basically what happened with the, the moth frame, right? We went back to her and said, we figured it out. We know what to do with the moth frames. And she's like, oh, good, tell me. And we're like, nope. Nope, we're not going to tell you. Oh, my exams. <laughs> she, was, she was devastated. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? I'll be with you in a second. This stairwell looks promising. Wonder what Kagawa really do. This looks like the portrait from the map. I love this now, portrait. Where's the treasure? It's like old style animation. Lumos. How do we do this? I don't recall. Here, repair her. Let Yeah. Revelio. Actually, I don't remember. Discover the painting secret. Oh, it's up there. Here. Aha! There was a doorway hidden within the portrait. I'm assuming that's what's going I to happen. What came of Arthur's search. We're gonna come back to him, and he's gonna, he's gonna want to know, and we're just not gonna tell him. Same exact robe. And this robe looks pretty good for Hufflepuff. Could just as equally be Gryffindor, but actually, I would say it's more Hufflepuffy. I, I know that Hufflepuff is supposed to be yellow, but honestly, most of their clothes look gold to me. It's more of a gold color. 
I just know we'll find the best way. Lumos. And we can't do this one until we get the means to do locks, which this drives me crazy that they put this here and you know it's supposed to be somewhere nearby, but you can't know for sure where it is nearby. So not a lot of people, I mean, first, it's just in my opinion, it drives me crazy knowing that it's beyond this door. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? You said that already. All right, let's see. He, and he is such a nice guy too. And we're just gonna make him sad. So far, every time, every time we've done the jerk options it's it's really pissed people off they've just been pissed nobody's gotten sad obviously <laughs> find anything yet hello arthur thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait oh how clever mine led to the boathouse barely found the treasure before i saw the headmaster coming he shooed me out of there but not before i got a few galleons richer what did you find? I found what I believe is an Boo. authentic historian's uniform. Oh, he's too lucky. nice. Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Yeah, they're like. Well, don't want to on to the next Hogwarts mystery. They didn't even give Wonder an option. If a quick rummage round Weasley's office might yield anything interesting. <laughs> Do you think that's what actually happened? They were like, he's too nice of a character. We can't <laughs> let you be mean to him. Well, that was a waste of time. Unless I really want that cloak. Let's see if we can be mean to Ronan. Professor, do you have time to chat? I always have time for my students. How may I help you? I wondered if I might ask how long you've been teaching at Hogwarts. Well, it's been what now? <laughs> Seven swift years. Time does fly because we have fun. Essential, in my opinion. An eager, positive, and confident mind is the most open to knowledge, I find. Some of the professors may not agree with your approach. <laughs> well, each of us has our own style, I suppose. Some in the teaching field believe that hard work and dedication are the only keys to success. But they forget what drives those things. If one cannot fathom why some would expend energy on gobstones, then one is blind to the enormous power of play. And that's why you teach the way you do. Precisely. I strive to be the sort of professor that I would have enjoyed in school. My experience was less that's cheerful. cheerful. Um, well, I mean, most of the time we are nice in appearance. But in reality, we're just being nice so we can trick and manipulate people. And then the few rare times that we are just a flat-out jerk to people, that's because we are trying to create additional evil wizards. These, This is all part of the plan, MP. You have to realize that. Now, I, I'm pretty sure I actually selected perhaps it made you who you are on the first playthrough. How unfortunate. Let me see. I don't remember. Perhaps you wouldn't be who you are without that experience. Had I received a more traditional education? Well, enough about my student yeah, days. No you are here now, and it would be a shame if you didn't enjoy it. I'll do my best, Professor. Thank you for the advice. You are most welcome. <laughs> Try to have a bit of fun today. Ronan might also be too nice of a kid. Because <laughs> there are some snidey remarks you can make towards the teachers with their additional dialogue. Ronin, not so much. Uh, Rebellion. Uh, 
urge a defending Hogsmeade against trolls. You know, there is such a thing as trying too hard. <laughs> Ominous seems like a dick in the beginning. Yeah. The people I feel sorry for are the ones who don't receive any owls. Poor things. He's so full of himself. I heard you were fighting I've trolls seen and hugs me. <laughs> like we did it just to show off. <laughs> Even though Sebastian was there with us. Maybe he's afraid we're taking Sebastian away as a friend. Pavelio. I want to grab all these damn demiguises. If only we could grab them early. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow, like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is grave news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure. But I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. The restricted section, to be precise. And a bit beyond. I kind of wish we had a traditional map like this. Of magic there on the map. That we could look at. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm. Different and wars. I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But, sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book. But we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Okay. Ominous. We're almost running into me, as per usual. Revelio. What? What is this kid doing? What? Where'd he go? Again. This is the only game. <laughs> this is the only game you can't that you can excuse can bugs like, as just magic. Magic mishaps. Can't go that way. Revelia. Curious that they didn't add a page for her. Is it just supposed to be like more of an Easter egg? What? 
I'm here. Ah. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. Do you think that's how they approached the game? <laughs> MP? It seems crossed ones isn't as secret as it's believed to be. It'd be funny if that was like a developer's motto. A development team's motto. The leader's motto. Sir, we can't figure out why this keeps happening. Two people at the three broomsticks keep phasing into each other when they eat. Don't worry about it. It's the wizarding world. It's fine. It's magic. Ready for another round? Oh, I'm aware. I think so. We shall see who shows up. There's no one in the school I'd be afraid to duel. I know, Sebastian. I know. Glad you're back. That's why I know it's a motto. Train. Is there... I mean, it's basically an extra side quest. I'm assuming we'd have to do the training, right? Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Yeah. Done. Let me open it. Good one. Let me open it. That's it. Pop. I'd say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Spell combination practice complete. Because, yeah, I mean, if you didn't need to practice, but you definitely wouldn't need to have finished all that. Look at Sebastian and Natty. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Ones all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? Let's do it. I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? No. Thank you. Thanks, I'll but no thanks. Solo. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Why's everybody got to be so cocky? Oh, I see how it is. All the other houses against Hufflepuff. I see. <laughs> Let me open. 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 
People can't watch the duels. Victory is ours! Bravo! I gave it my all. You did indeed! The other duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance of winning. Or at least surviving I the next don't round. Need practice. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you. Do you, you know then. who I am? The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Do you know who I am, young man? Assignment's all finished. Perhaps I should stick to potions. <laughs> you could have gone a bit easier on me. Seems I'm out of the tournament thanks to you. Oh, I took easy on you. You'd be dead if I hadn't. I'm Safino's internal monologue. I am her thoughts. Her dark thoughts. Everywhere she goes, she hears my voice. Revelio. <laughs> I heard a ding. A very, very faint ding. Or I'm going crazy. It's possible. Savina says, I feel like making cookies today for the other students. And then I'm like, yes. And put poison in them. Poison the cookies. Where are we going? And do we have any other side quests to do? I haven't really been looking at the map. We do have a side quest. What is it? Oh, shoot. Yeah, I forgot. Let's just go and activate this real quick. I don't because know one victory over if it's necessary. He never backs down from the, fight. the robe is... F I mean, that's ultimately where it's leading, right? Other than some XP. We do get XP every time we finish a key. So I guess that's... Maybe worth it? Is everything all right? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. I mean, the only reward that we find is the tokens, right? What if any of the other students decided to do this? We'd have split tokens everywhere. Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. I thought they could go almost anywhere. Surely you'll be trying to complete the challenge as well. Ah, uh, I've tried. And I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. Yeah, I keep putting them out late talk about our neighbor's dog he always like whines when he's outside by himself at night don't know why they keep doing that 
So what's the dealio with her not being able to do the cabinets? She can't follow them. She can't slap the key into the hole. What's the issue? Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. No. I hope you follow it's an a old few doggo. keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. I don't know how old Woody is. He's got to be an old doggo. He's uh, he's at least north of ten. I guess we'll go ahead and get the first key, just to get it, get it started. Out of the way! We've got important business. Oh, we just passed this another side quest. What side quest did we pass down there? I love this one. I was really hoping we were going to get something special in the one side quest where she was trying to train a troll. And she mentioned this wizard during that quest. Nah, we've talked about him before. Many times. Many times, MP. But it's been almost every night this past week that we hear him whining. It's, it's, it's dark outside. He really wants to just come back inside. A Dedalian key. Wonder where it might lead me. To a cabinet, duh. She told you that. Where'd he go? Revelio. Where'd he go? Oh, shoot. I've always said that oh, there it is. What's this? There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? Smash it, then pick it up and put it in there. It's weird that we have to slap it right in front of the hole. <laughs> That's it. An old coin. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. An old coin, the size of a plate. Revelio. I would definitely not think. Would you think that that was a coin when you first found it inside a cabinet? I would sooner think it was a hubcap. And then I would ask, what's a hubcap? Because it's the 1800s. A galleons and a historian's uniform. It was brilliant solving those old treasure maps. I'm just laying on the stairs. Man, I wish we could jump over railings. I hate how they add the invisible barriers. Oh yeah, where was that side quest? It disappeared. Oh no, it's right there. We're still not even on the right floor with it. Gotta remember to come back here. Although, we can just see it here, can't we? And then we can just... Yeah, there we go. We'll just activate it. Wait. Did we activate it? Oh. That's where we're going. <laughs> After this. It's Hecat's... Hecat? Hecat. <laughs> How am I still doing that? I want to call him Hecat. I can't help it. I don't know why. 
Maybe because there's cats everywhere. <laughs> cat. Almost sounds like a cat throwing up a hairball. <laughs> cat. Cat. Were you able to follow one of the Dedalian keys? Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant. What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token ah. of some sort. Looks like some sort of house token. I bet it Why can't we be a chests. jerk only like I call them house chests. Sometimes I've seen the one in Gryffindor and heard they're also in the other common rooms as well. Keep an eye out. Okay. I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something. Grand. There's wolves. I should see this through and find the Hufflepuff house chest. Just wolves. Yeah, I don't think a single dog was showing up anywhere. Maybe the developers secretly loved cats. Or maybe this was... Or they secretly loved cats and this was their answer to never being able to pet a cat in Red Dead Redemption. But we... I think we could pet a dog in Red, Red Dead Redemption. I, again, that was the main fuss that happened with Red Dead. Was that there were dogs and cats. And you could pet the dogs, but you couldn't pet the cats. And they never patched it in. Oh, we're still doing this side quest? Oh my gosh, I don't want to go all the way back to insert it. But that we're going to have to in order to finish this quest. <sighs> Happy Wednesday, Night Gazer. What is going on? Hmm. I don't think you could pet gators. You could pet the gators in Red Dead? <laughs> Did she? This must be... Seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open this. Too many Quite house tokens. Quite a few by the look of it. Find the remaining house tokens. Alright, done. Done and done. Let's go see Professor Hecat. 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 I don't believe you, MP. I don't believe you. MP's trying to trick me again, babies. Cleo doesn't understand. She would just let MP trick me. <laughs> so you're saying it's true? You would just let it happen? <laughs> Terrible. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found success in your endeavors. Yeah, sure. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hecate. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. See, it drives me... I guess this is teaching us how steady. to swap spells, but it drives me crazy that we start... We we're already going on to our fifth and over spells, and we don't have the extra slots for them yet. That was another thing that the uh, New Game Plus in quotes mod did, which was it gave you all the extra spell slots from the get-go. 
secrets of the restricted section. Good work. Let's see. Incendio, you're getting it. Keep at it. And do try not to incinerate yourself. All right, I don't have the 360 on it yet. To use a spell... Why is it still telling me this? I already did it. Go away. Hold RT and tap the corresponding. I did. It won't go away. No. Of course not. You have to learn them. Excellent. Oh my gosh, that tip is still there. Oh, my Devin, who are you asking? What are you up to now? Or who are you telling, rather? Oh, wait, are we... Oh, no, I want us to go back to Figs. But I want to see what this side quest is. I wonder if you might be able to help me with a small, uh, project. Well, maybe if I can get this bloody thing to go away. We're going to have to, like, reload. You want me to kiss you? You have to ask Cleo. Spare a moment. She's thinking about I could it. Use your help. You wanted to speak with me? I did. Why is it so dark over Hello. here? I'm Duncan Hophouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. Thank you for the subscription, Devin. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Grab a seat, grab a drink. It appears Cleo is still thinking about it. <laughs> I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. Neither of these options seem that great. I feel like I said I had good luck la last time, too. I've had some good luck. Like, why even have these choices? Oh, that's nice to hear. I've had my share of adventure. I hope my reputation's warranted. I'm going to polite. presume your reputation is, in fact, warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine... Unfortunately, took the shape of a, a puff scheme. <laughs> okay, see, these are the options we want. Surely you're joking. You can't possibly be afraid of a puff scheme. It may seem irrational to you, but my experience with them has been most upsetting. They eat <laughs> so bogeys, silly. you know. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puffskeen Dunkeen. Why is it so dark? <laughs> I'm sorry, but you have to admit that's rather clever. I do not have to admit that. <laughs> Never said the same thing. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the herbology professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind.
What sort of plant should I expect in the hidden herbology corridor? I haven't a clue. But have Can you seen that? the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? <gasps> if the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. I had to explain that to Cleo MP. She didn't get it. She was like, I don't understand what he's talking about. Tennessee. <laughs> Whatever. And then she went back to work. <laughs> If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. You know, people are known to be very attractive in hmm. Tennessee, of course. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing. I was destined to be a glorious beater of Quidditch. I don't want to talk to you again. I was. She's trying to trick me. So I'm very curious what responses we're going to get for the end of his quest. Because we were able to make fun of him throughout all that. I don't... It makes me really curious about who wrote what parts of the different quests. Because we've had some where we've had no options whatsoever. But then this one, we had like three different options of dialogue like in each exchange. Including one that's just laughing at him and <laughs> and asking him if he if, if he's scared of his own shadow These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Incendio! This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Perhaps, Sylvina. Now, wasn't there a chest like halfway along here? Oh, yeah, it's right there. Duelist attire. Lumos. Incendio. Maybe duelist attire might be good for her. Cause it's uh it's kind of a disheveled look, isn't it? Ugh, I can't put it on yet. Oh well we can't change to the look though. I don't know why that didn't occur to me earlier with the hat as well. Oh. It's got nothing to do with our class. Maybe if they gave her a skirt. <laughs> it's exactly like the guys. Milo is snoring right behind my head. High Society for Fedora. When did we get this? Oh, yeah. We need to put that hat on. Maybe for outdoors. 
not here in class. Devil's snare was protecting the chest of some kind. Incendio! We need to get the swimwear. I don't remember where we got the swimwear for when we do swimming missions. Oh yeah, what do the girls' long johns look like? Pretty much the same. It's more frilly. She's got frilly knee, knee bits. The guys get way warmer long johns. That's not fair. MP like that. MP likes Victorian underwear, undergarments. <laughs> MP's kind of pissed that Lumos. it fell out of fashion. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Incendio. I'm still weirded out that these don't attack you. You would think you would need to like subdue it or knock it out or something first. We're just able to walk up, pluck it, and head on out. Go pluck some more. Lumos. Look at the size of this thing. It could totally eat you. I mean, we use them as weapons later on. Why aren't they trying to eat me? They're just letting me murder them. Oh, I forgot we have lower range now, too, for our Revelio. Yep. I couldn't see that, man. It was so close. Just chilling here. Revenia. I 
I want to know how much XP. Okay, we get 80 XP for the pages. Is that a lot? I haven't really compared any of the XP gains. There's a key. I heard it. Where'd it go? That's right there. I need to gauge what's worth doing, what's not worth doing. So, the house tokens don't give us any XP, so they might not be worth... I mean, it's going to bug me having the keys flying around, make a noise, and we don't follow up with them. But yeah, we don't get any XP for collecting the tokens. It's a damn shame. House Elf. All right, let's Have you see. found anything to uh, prove my bravery yet? <laughs> Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. That sounded... Must have been a giant that venomous sounded... tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. <laughs> now that I think about it, Puff Skeen Dunkeen, I think I shall keep this. You need to overcome your cowardice. You can't be serious. <gasps> this is awful. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> we <laughs> We again we gotta we gotta when we switch to um when we switch to Gryffindor or Ravenclaw, we have to do the jokester playthrough, you know what I mean? Just to see what the alternate dialogue is for them just messing around. She called him his, she, she called him by his nickname. I'm doing you a favor. Disappointment like this will encourage you to become a stronger person. I don't need to be stronger. I need to be left alone. Even Zenobia Noak will make fun of me now. You've wasted my time. You're not who I thought you were. I should never have trusted you. I'm perplexed by the fact that this isn't affecting anything overall. You would think it would affect, like, whether people even ask you for favors. Right, you would just stop getting these side quests because you end up becoming... You end up having a reputation for just being a... <laughs> freaking dink to everybody. Revelia. Hmm. Now, who do we have an option to speak with? I can't... Is it Ronan again? Oh, I lost it. Oh, wait, no. It's back again. Can't hit that, can we? Incendio. Too far away. Sir, you'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hecate. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. 
You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig, I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Oh yeah, I forgot I added a, a mod that increased the, um, the resolution, I think, the frame rate of the cutscenes. So there are very... Like, most of the cutscenes are pre-recorded. Um, not that cutscene, obviously. Any Anyone that involves our model are not. But all the pre-recorded cutscenes, like when you're looking inside the pensives and stuff like that. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. They're like, uh, for whatever reason, they made them, like, lower res and, and low frame rate. Added a mod that supposedly fixes that. It also makes a bunch of other changes too, like uh, I think it improved the quality of like spells. Any any videos for sure. Any like spell videos and stuff like that. Sebastian, there you are. There you are. You promised me an explanation for what happened in the Three Broomsticks. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Shoot, man, I can't remember. Did, were we completely openly honest with, uh, with him the first time around? I talked to him about everything? Should we lie to him this time around? You would think we should have done it the other way around, shouldn't we have? We should have, we should have been keeping it. Hmm. I told him about the key. Yeah. So we should lie to him, maybe. I don't know. Cause we're doing it the other way. We're. It seems weird that we would lie to him this time around because we're gonna be siding with him later on, you know. But I, I do want to do the all the alternate dialogue. I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. You might need me. So, why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... You want to show some initiative. Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. I am liking this voice actor way better. I think she's way better than the, than the, the dude. See there? That's the door we need to reach.
and those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean, I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak. But those are expensive. And spells? Spells are free. I don't like that Give reference. It, it doesn't make sense. It seems to be a reference in to the invisibility cloak from Harry Potter. But the invisibility cloak from Harry Potter is supposed to be one of a kind. Expensive? It's it's one of the damn Deathly Hollows. Again, didn't we theorize though that maybe the difference is, is that invisibility cloaks are a common thing, maybe, but that particular invisibility cloak is the only one that would actually hide you from death. I just always assumed it was it was literally a one of a kind item. I need my talent points so we can upgrade and have more slots. Damn it. I'll be quieter than a job in Oh yeah, you can tell. These little movies. They definitely did. They definitely earn at a higher frame right now. Have to go in that one door. Go in this door, yeah. Oh, come on, what? It's locked. It's locked with a, a non existent lock. That's that's messed up, man. Help me. No, don't come this way. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's all good. Fast. The librarian's still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually. But it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Wait, why do we need a key? Isn't there a spell for this? Aloha Mora. That's how I always used to get in. But the librarian twigged that I knew the spell and cast an anti Alohomora charm on the lock. So now it's just this key. But don't worry. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Why wouldn't people... Why wouldn't everybody put that charm on all locks? Alohomora is common? We're like a predator. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tone by its cover, I say.
Excuse you. Ghost, don't let her see you. Quietly now. Stop that. Why does she keep doing that? Should be in the clear. No need for us to be skulking about. What is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think you'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. Revelio, you're being awfully cryptic. My character kind of looks like the voice actress for, um... Fiona. In, uh, Adventure Time. Look up Fiona. Uh, voice, the voice actress for... The voice actor for Fiona. And tell me if you agree. Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. Madeline. Madeline Martin. Still can't grab the demi guys, of course. Here, I'll look at her in here as you can see. Yeah, she does. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of weird. A little bit. <laughs> just just a little bit. <laughs> From further away, yes. From further away. <laughs> Of course, it's the one spell I removed. And the other spell I removed. <laughs> what the heck? Didn't work. Repair this. Oh. Sebastian Solo and his new little friend out the exploring heck? where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you? I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves! I've got to stop him, or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. <laughs> How do I know you won't go to the librarian and blame this all on me? Why would I do that? I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this on. Oh, 
Revelio. Of course. Traces of ancient magic. There must be more to this room. That's it. These crazy masks. I like that her bangs go in front of it. <laughs> Wait, did the hat mod do this, or did the developers actually think to put the bangs in front of the mask? I don't know. What would happen if I put a hat on? Maybe, maybe the mod's doing it. Yeah. It's possible. Maybe the mod creator thought to put the bangs in front of masks? Or that's just a coincidence? Hello, boys. Not surprising. Guards at the ready. Who wants to make the first move? Bitch slapped me. Gift of Ancient Magic accumulates! Oh, I wish I had my trade still. Revelio. Can I knock these guys back with this spell? Ooh, almost. Just a slight bit. Wob striped attire. Assuming that's not a uniform.
I like the gold color of the uh, the Hufflepuff, honestly. I think it'll go well with a lot of different outfit combos. This must be the way forward, but to where? Ah! I fell down. about me. How full up are we getting at this point? We're at 18 out of 20. That sucks. Might be able to get out of here before worrying about it, though. That's nice. And it's not even a Hufflepuff robe, but we could wear it as such. Maybe we'll wear it for now. Hudon. Oh, that's unfortunate. The mod needs to fix that. Hair. We need a hair fix option for hoods up. I might suggest that to the mod creator. I don't know. Maybe it's fine. Does it look weird? You can see her hair. Is it weird having her bangs? She's pushing her bangs back to put the hood up. That doesn't make any sense. It's true. It is true. Knock him off. Should we do what we did in Horizon and do a not allowed to heal challenge? During fights, of course. Obviously, you heal after the fights. I just swear off Wiganweld. It 
is a book after all. Looking around like we're on candid camera or something. It would make it more challenging. That's his Adora, isn't it? The little one. I just realized that the town looks almost completely unchanged. This is supposed to be ages ago. <laughs> the town looks pretty much exactly the same. See, this is still driving me crazy. I wanted her to be the main antagonist of the game. She should have been. She had the most character development of all of them. You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. She would have been way this more interesting Isadora antagonist. Morganach. Welcome, Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad, especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morgan, they're not. When we spoke Percival and her class, you asked about the unusual and rare. Beautiful swirls you saw years ago. Oh, and yeah, me. Unusual and rare. I That's recognized what I'm you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what that are special. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. That's a rule. Percival, you can't be Professor Rackham can see them recruited too. But we've beyond never known fifth year. Could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I 
Sprecher thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the Headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. I would have turned him in. There was nobody else. <laughs> I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> what a strange ghost. I would have not only turned Sebastian in, I would have blamed everything on him. <laughs> like, yep, it was Sebastian. He did everything. In fact, he he dragged me along. I didn't even have a choice. Alright, MP. Good night. Sleep well. Sleep well. Have pleasant dreams. We will see you next time. I'm undecided whether or not I want to keep wearing a robe. I actually like this robe better. We're going to go robe-less for the time being. Robe-less! time is it? It's four in the morning. But that doesn't make sense. Yeah, I'm going to turn off the time, the date. The date is definitely messed up. It's impossible for it to be the fifth still. It's bloody 4 a.m. It should be the sixth at this point. It makes me wonder how it was programmed, because it's it's definitely all over the place. The date the day seems pointless too, but if we were running the mod that um actually change the schedule because there's a mod that's supposed to make the ai better in terms of like immersion and scheduling meaning after after a certain time of the day students leave the classrooms they go to hogsmeade the the, the teachers take a break and then on the weekends so saturday and sunday they're most of the kids and the teachers won't be in school some of them will be or some of them will be in their quarters some of them will be at hogsmeade etc etc shops close at nighttime that'd be the only reason i would think of that you would need the day to know that i tried using it once but i don't think it works very well it's one of the most highly uh, rated mods but my experience with it was very strange. There would be times where you would go to the Great Hall where they eat and you would hear the crowd, but nobody would be in there. And then usually at at shifts where they would go off to do other things, you would often sometimes see people just being in a long row walking to where they're supposed to be going to next. So for me, it, it didn't make it more immersive. It It just broke it made everything super confusing and distracting. I like the idea of it. It seems like a great idea. Having people do more activities and adhere to schedules and weekends. And just, uh, for me, it didn't, it didn't land. Is there anything else to do other than return here? Let's find out. Tomes and tribulations. Hello. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. 
unorthodox. It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. <laughs> I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. He's very observant. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section, as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? In the second, they were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic, too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from <laughs> them as well. <laughs> Uh, what friends? <laughs> Everyone hates us. That's not true. I guess Sebastian and Natty don't hate us. But that one boy that we made fun of for being scared of pupskins, he definitely hates us now. It's time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. What are you doing, baby? Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. Well, it's I only going to, to you. To you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside the castle. And then he just sent you an owl, requesting to meet her in Lower Hogsfield, a hamlet. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Too much to do! Can't keep track of all this. Where's damn... Where's freaking Moon at? <laughs> I want to unlock locks. When do I get my talent points? I need talents! Talents are still locked. Oh, look at all this stuff we've already unlocked. Oh, 
we've certainly collected a whole bunch of pages so far. Not wasted any time. Bunch of stuff we don't need. Yeah, some of these rewards... <laughs> especially these ones are a little lackluster. Some of them are just goofy. The Hogwarts Regalia Ensemble. And the hat. How are we already at 40%? It's crazy. Alright, let's go do the cross wands first before we head out of, out of school. There's the speech bubble again. It's kind of, yeah. Can we go up one more? Yeah, we can. Is it? Where is this speech bubble? Is it Ronin again? Where the hell is this speech bubble at? It is Ronin. Professor, what did you mean when you said your education wasn't traditional? <laughs> I had bet myself a butterbeer you'd be back to ask about that. <laughs> it seems I've earned myself a trip to the Three Broomsticks. My father insisted rather adamantly that fun had no place when it came to learning. I struggled with his rather Socratic method of teaching, made no progress with even the simplest spells until I made a game of it. As the process itself became a source of joy, I was able to better retain what I was being taught. I realized then how much fun was to be had in learning, and I decided to become a professor so that I may pass that joy along. I myself feel studying is worthy of a more serious approach. Then we shall have to disagree, but I appreciate your honesty. Now, I shall not keep you from your studies, nor time with your fellow students. Both of which are invaluable to your education. Italians and a historian's uniform. It was brilliant, Rowan. Lucan Brattleby. Lucan, I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Charge. Excellent. 
excellent form. Accio. Incendio. Impressive wand work. I'd hate to face you in a duel. Why haven't you faced us in a duel? It was only a training dummy. True, but it's a difficult dummy. Believe me, I know. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable <laughs> in crossed wands. Other duelists had better beware. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of Crossed Wands ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? I'll go it alone. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. It's four. It's so many. doing the no wig and weld even for something like this I'm gonna die no no I'm dead. definitely makes it a lot harder not healing <laughs> They made a crap's breakfast out of you that round. Care to try again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. again yes I'm ready now very well good luck out there Confringo Incendio Confringo Tego Stupid one
That was nothing. I'm just getting started. If the best duelists in the school weren't enough competition, then perhaps you should consider transferring to Durnstrang. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Hmm. I can't remember what I picked last time. I think I may have said I don't know that I deserve this. Hmm. Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Yes. Shame it's over. I was just getting started. Lost to a new student? Hmm, I didn't see that coming. Could you remind Oops. me how the Dedalian keys Wait, work again? Was she one of the ones when we fought? When you spot or hear a flying key, you're to follow it back to its... I didn't mean I to talk to you. Some. thought you were a random discussion. Revelio. What about him? You can't be beat, can you? You guys beat me. Like, at least twice. Decent casual wear. We were going out and about in the world. I feel like this would be better with a coat. Could put on, have some casual wear. We're gonna go meet Natty outside of the school. Yeah, we haven't gotten very many school uniforms yet. Casual. Definitely makes you look like an adventurer. Nah. Nah. Is that the next quest on the to do? Oh, we got a bunch. We have a herbology class. Ah. Ten defense against the dark arts class during the day. I guess we could go meet Natty and then come back to the school. This looks like fall wear, doesn't it? De definitely keeping warm. Practically is fall. Sans coat. What do you think? 
Should we go just coat or just hat? Just hat. Does it look like summer? I like my coat though. <laughs> Most of the game's winter. kind of a bummer that most of the game was winter. They should have... I feel like they should have had the last chapter. Last chapter should have been in the spring. Should investigate. Should you? I mean, we could. Can I even do some of these yet? Uh, uh, mm. uh. Incendio. No, I need to go sell some stuff. No, and this is like the one point of the game where I actually need my money. Uh, I should probably go do that before we meet up with Natty. Well, gloves are worse, but they are worth more, so that was a decent trade-off. I feel like I'm buying some decent outerwear to wear outside the school. Normal outfit. But I'm not keen on most of them. These technically match. I just don't know if I like the way it looks. No? <laughs> This one had a little purse. Yeah. Hmm. Now my yacht's have a leg strap bag. It's true. Which one do you like better? Maybe that one. Some good outerwear. Adventure wear. We gotta go to freaking Hogsmead. Got too much stuff. Oh shoot, we need to grab that. That other flu flame. There's a bunch of places we haven't been to in Hogsmeade yet. Market for potions, are we? What can I do for you today? I do need to buy all your crap. I wonder, I don't know when those quests are going to pop up. Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. To see you again. Farewell for now. Should we 
grab that blue flame while we're here. It's just a slight convenience to have. Told you not to go down that path. I know we're not supposed to go down there. I just thought you could have got us in a lot of trouble. I'm very sorry, Father. Only she said I might earn a reward. Uh, instead, I just wasted our time. There you are. Ha! Huh. Finally, I'll have enough for that wind wisp. Mm. Ah, well, <laughs> not meant to be. Also, I may have knocked over a dustbin back there. Never mind. I'll fix it, as always. Her run, her, I mean, her her fast sprint is a little awkward looking. Look at her when she's like full sprinting. Her normal jog's okay. Delicious. Delicious. Another page in my hearing now. Oh, I don't think we got the one for Honey Dukes. That's nice. Isn't that nice? How's that compared to the other one we got? I don't know. What about these? You don't like this length? Too long? That's okay. And this is too long. Like, if you're having it this far down, you want it to be more down at the ankles? Yeah. I see. So you don't like this outfit because of the length of the skirt. <laughs> Fine for the time. <laughs> like the time period? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't mind it. It goes kind of well with her hat. But I can't decide if I like the adventurer look better. Do you like the adventurer look better or the casual? You prefer pants. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it would depend. Depend on the robe. I don't mind these coats with this outfit. This one probably works better with it.
definitely an adventuring witch look. She could be a. Have a look around. She could be a pirate if you have sticky fingers. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. All right, we gotta get back to one A. We're natty at. We probably should have unlocked the shortcut before we did this. I need my broom. Where's my broom? That the noise. I was hoping I'd run into that hedge maze on the way in. We never finished the hedge mage. The hedge maze. Um, what do you call it? The like pieces of the book, the novel. Drop me any ingredients. I can't pick up ingredients from enemies yet. I've got a side quest here too. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. We've barely spoken to I'm each other. I'm well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. 
I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. Okay. I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? must have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid back! Oh, we should be trying. Defeats give us XP. Oh, it's got to. Oh, go out of your eyes? I don't know if we have feats yet. Complete the battle in 40 seconds. We do. Doing the feet I've gave us a bonus of 75 in such XP. A manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. <sighs> Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood, thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical, hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor, hears what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service, historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were mere myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I'm not sure old vine-covered pillars are worth studying. Well, I think anything concerning Merlin is worth pursuing, and I shall have you know. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Sweet is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. 
Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of mallow sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Do I have now, some? Notice the vines on when the I have collected any? Here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I Incendio! Beard. The flames make the pyre sink. Is beautiful. What a day! I can hardly believe it. I take it we can call that a success. We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I, I really buy it. must be off. Such need to plant a pleasure it. to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. All right, let's do this one for her. I know this is one that is going to piss. She's going to be pissed. Hello? Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? I'm afraid I'm not keen on mucking about at the bottom of lakes. Oh, please don't say no just yet. Perhaps if you understood my plight, you'd change your mind. Perhaps. What precisely do you need to retrieve, and why? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know of your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits. 
Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to us. Astrolabe. All right, let's go. Let's go get it. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. I don't think I ever really searched the waters off and beyond this. Because I was always curious if you could find random things to pick up in the waters. This must be where the so like Smithy these. found the astrolabe is. Yeah, I don't think beyond this mission I ever did. But I never really went down in the water. I'll try that. I can't use my wand while I'm in the water, sadly. I can't. Not my broom. My wand. I know you meant broom. I was like, why would my wand pop me out? <laughs> Got it. And a wig and weld potion, too. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. <laughs> now, what is the point of keeping this, anyway? What can we do with an astrolabe? <laughs> can we use it? Can we sell it? We're going to find out. didn't find the dive too terribly difficult it was awful hello grace i followed your bearings on a dive in the black lake oh how incredible did you find the astrolabe oh shoot hold on should we be profiting off of this just to get some easy gold i want to i don't i feel like saying we're going to keep it is way meaner I mean, we could definitely use the gold right now, but I feel like if we're wanting to be a real dick, just saying, nah, it's ours now. We're not even giving you a choice. So on one hand, I want the money. I want to, I think it, I think we're going to get angrier responses from keeping it. It's yours for a price. Oh, that's tough. I should have saved right before here to see. I couldn't... I might reload the auto... Oh, dang it. Oh, we can't bag out. I'm going to assume it auto-saved after we found it. I'm going to reload and see how much gold we get for it. I did find it. However, I've taken a liking to it, so I'm going to keep it. What? But you can't. It doesn't belong to you. Finders keepers, Grace. I can't believe this. Second time we've said Father's that. stupid oath just cost us a priceless family artifact. I hope your new astrolabe brings you nothing but sorrow. 
if you can even work out how to use it. I knew I should have done the dive myself. Father's wishes be damned. All right, let's let's reload because I'm curious now. Wait, what? Do we get anything for it? Oh, we got a mermaid mask. Yeah, let's reload. Let's see how different her response is. If her response is about the same, I suppose we could just simply give it up for money. But yeah, there, there's there's no reason to keep them. Well, we do have it. It's still in our inventory. A navigational tool belonging to Race Pinchy Spindley's grandparents. We could be keeping these like trophies of our dickishness. Let's look, there's there's her gobstone too. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me want to keep them even more. We'll have trophies of us being assholes. Uh, I, I am curious how much she would have given us, though. Especially since they seem like they're supposed to be rich. Let's find out. It wouldn't have been this. 1155? That can't possibly be it. What, so did it save and then save immediately after? I'm gonna make a manual save, and I need to make more manual saves. Oh, goodness, Did you see that jump he did over the way? Yeah, it's crazy. All right, let's see. Let's see how much money she would have given it for us. I, I'm hoping that it'll, there'll be varied prices, and not it's, not that it's always three hundred. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did, but it wasn't easy. I shall need to be compensated. I see. That's fair, I suppose. Oh, we can't. A reward, so to speak, for finding the buried treasure. It's nowhere near Thank as bad. You for recovering it. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your yeah. caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Did she just give us 20 gold? That's all she gave us was 20 gold. It's totally not worth it, especially on a jerk playthrough. <laughs> uh, what's her face gave us 300 for that, for the diary. We only got 20 gold and she's supposed to be like from a rich family. She gypped us. And she didn't care that much. And, and the way that we said it also was way too polite. Yeah. We were like, but it was super hard. And it was dangerous. I, I need to be... Can, could I... No, she didn't say, I'm, so I want money. She was like, I, it would be nice to be compensated, you know, maybe. Maybe just a little compensation. She's like, okay, that's understandable. <laughs> Here you go. Here's enough to buy you a piece of candy. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible. Did you find the astrolabe? Yeah, we can't do it. I want to know what both responses are um, to some people. Because when we held the diary ransom, I think that was the only choice that it actually gave us. For the money. And we were a dick about that. Like, we started talking about details from her diary, too. I did find it. However, Listen to how snide I've taken we sound. a liking to it, so I'm going to keep it. What? But you can't. It doesn't belong to you. Finders keepers, Grace. I can't believe it. The way we this. said her name. Father's stupid oath just cost us a priceless family artifact. I hope your new astrolabe brings you nothing but sorrow. If you can even work out how to use it. I knew I should have done the dive myself. <laughs> Father's wishes be damned. Finders keepers, Grace. Yeah, we've had her say it twice now. Finders keepers. I think. When did she say finders keepers before? Are you sure it was with the gobstones? Wow. Okay. Is she gonna be saying that like regularly? <laughs> finders keepers. Yeah, 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 yeah.
That's fun. I'm going to have to start marking the timestamps in the chapters down below with which quests actually elicit not only like jerk options, but jerk responses to, or like angry responses, because there's been several that we've done that haven't had any options at all. So I'll probably start doing that. I'll probably put like a red check mark next to each of the quests that actually have, you know, alternate dialogue or mean alternate dialogue. Uh, we are going to call it there, though, I think. I'm going to call it there. All right, guys. It's been fun. I wish there was more. Again, I'm, I'm curious uh, how they decided when and where to do this. I almost wonder, because people were talking about how they were upset there wasn't a real moral system in the game. And I wonder if this was also something that resulted in, or just something that was left on the cutting room floor. It almost feels like they may have done dialogue and programmed options for some of the quests, and then they didn't have time to get around to doing all of them? I mean, that doesn't make sense, though. They, At the very least, they would have had the... They would have had the voice acting and all of that written, I would have thought. I don't know. But, yeah, like, not not all of them... Uh, there's, there's not an option for all of them, which is disappointing. The ones that we are able to actually do the alternate dialogue have been great. And the performance is so drastically different from how polite the character normally is. And then when you choose a rude response, there she's so full of like malice and, and she's so snidey. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how much more there is to all of this. But uh, yeah, we'll call it there. And uh, we will be back tomorrow. And, of course, I haven't mentioned it yet, but the plan is to start Diablo 4 on Friday. So we will be playing, um, we will continue playing Hogwarts. Um, but um, I have some friends that are wanting to play Diablo. I have some friends that have already started playing Diablo. Um, Oni's been waiting. Um, Oni from, like, my Elden Ring and other co-op games that I've done. He's been waiting to play Diablo until uh, I was ready. And so we're going to start that on Friday, and then we will be doing um, every other day for Hogwarts Legacy while I'm doing this new playthrough and, and Diablo 4. So that's the plan. So since we don't stream on Saturdays, what we'll probably do is three days a week we'll be doing Hogwarts, three days a week we'll be doing Diablo 4. And then uh, at some point we will get around to playing uh, Jedi Survivor. I'm not sure when that will be. Just depends on how things go with each of these games. We'll see. We'll see. Well, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you have not yet already. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't yet and you want to be notified of future streams. If you are watching this at a later time, thank you for taking the time to do so. And until tomorrow, everybody sleep well, be well, and I will see you then. Good night and goodbye.